Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Public Access and Chill. How are we feeling tonight? Alright, please join me in welcoming the host of the show, Brian Bargainer! Wow, how's it going everyone? Where is everybody? They just don't show up anymore. Nobody cares. Have you been thinking about those C and B C moves? All night long, Dad. What's going on, everybody? Thanks right. nice for coming to another episode of Public Access and Chill. How we doing? Shit, shoot us. That's great. So what's going on and stuff? Uh, I just got a ticket for uh, marijuana. That was cool. Uh, is this entrapment? Tell me if this is legal or not. The cop pulls me over, right? He walks up to my window, and I roll it down, and he goes, Damn, smells like really good weed in here. Thank you. He's all like, step out of the car. You know, it's noon. He's shining a flashlight in my face trying to freak me out. And he goes, where are you heading? And I'm like, McDonald's. Doesn't really help my case. And he's like, why? You have the munchies? It's like, nah, dude. Just look at me. I'm fat and gross. I'm just going to eat the ice cream on the way home and then the burger in bed. All right, well, that's it for jokes. Uh, unfortunately, my last co-host, Joe Reddington, died in an erotic motorcycle jump. So please help me and welcome the new co-host of Public Access and Chill, Al Mancini, everybody. How's it going, man? It's all right. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, you like cars, Al? Not really, man. They kind of suck. Oh. Well, that's great because today's episode is about cars, everyone. Uh, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, right now, I'm driving a uh, 2008 Scion XD. That's really cool. And driving well? Eh. Well, we went out on the streets and we wanted to find out more about cars. So we're going to check out a clip and we'll be right back. Do you? So I told her. Look, we already agreed on time. Where's this twenty dollar business you're coming out and with? Oh, that was some great stuff, huh, Al? That was awesome. Man. I love cars. Anyways, we have a very special guest. We have a local artist here to talk about some of his stuff. Please help me welcome Mike May, everybody. What's up, man? What's going on? What's up, man? What's this? Yeah, it's good stuff. So what's up, Mike? Uh, nothing much. I'm just, I'm here. Yeah, you found the place all right? No, I got lost along the way. <laughs> well, hey, it's, it's really hard reading those maps these days. It is. So I hear you're doing a lot of different types of art right now. I got like a ton of things written down. Mm -hmm. what, you, like, what are you doing lately? Like, what's your main focus, Ben? Uh, primarily tattoo work. Tattoos? Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest thing you ever had to tattoo on somebody? Uh, chocobo with a psychic eye and raptor claws. Is that like a juggalo thing? No. Not 
exactly. Not Maybe a little bit. Just not exactly. Just a little bit. But, it's like you know. uh, the McDonald's to Burger King of Juggalos. I mean, yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I see. Uh, they have a ton of things written down here. I got tattoos. Uh, you're in a band. Mm-hmm. And it, the genre you told me earlier was power violence. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. What's that mean? Like Mike Tyson? No, like you know, you you want to hurt someone real bad and you do it via yeah. music. Mm-hmm. So it's just not good. Exactly. Uh, have they, you ever heard of power violence? Uh, I have. Actually. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm just 187 he, years old. And if Don't you really me. know what power violence is, you know he got it exactly right. Oh yeah, no, right <laughs> in the head. Like I said, hey, it wasn't just because I'm 187 you, doesn't mean I'm not hip, all right? Hey, I, hey, I, no, I've man. skateboarded before. <laughs> no I did, the age. I did peyote once in 93 in Vietnam. I know what's up. But mainly we wanted to get you here. I hear you're doing a lot of digital stuff lately. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us anything about that? I mean, sure, yeah. I'm doing some uh, advertising for a uh, detailing company right now. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and you gave us a clip to check out, yeah? Yes, I did. All right, so we're going to check that out and be back with Mike and more stuff. We'll be right back. Looking for a fob? All right, and we're back. Tonight, I have a very funny comedian here to do a special set. Please help me and welcome the very funny Laura Fatarusso, everyone. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Um, uh, I was uh, driving down to Connecticut to do the show tonight, and uh, I uh, caught a glimpse of the full moon in my rearview mirror, and I thought it was a cop. Uh, really freaked me out, the beauty of the full moon. Hi, I'm Dick Goldscomb, and this is Dick Picks. <laughs> that one <won't work. laughs> <coughs> Gotta stay tuned. You're watching Dick's Picks. Uh, <laughs> you ever hear a new noise coming from your car and think maybe it's just a phase? Like, I think this belt's just having a bad week. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna like, see what happens. Uh, machines fix themselves, right? Well, that'll work out. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff has been going wrong with my car. Uh, the ceiling fabric just detached from the roof, uh, which might bum some people out, but uh, I kind of like it actually. It kind of feels like every time I go for a drive, I'm camping. Uh, you know, just camping on the way to work, camping on the way to the grocery store. Uh, my uh, check engine light came on though, and uh, I decided to go to AutoZone get a free diagnostic. Uh, they hooked this machine up to my car, and then the uh, AutoZone employee calls the other guy. He's like, hey, Bob, we got a code 420 over here. I was like, what the f*** are the AutoZone guys making fun of me? Uh, does my car smell like weed or something? Uh, but it turns out, no, a, co a code 420 is real. Uh, it means my catalytic converter is dying. Uh, kind of wish they'd been making fun of me, actually. Uh, it's pretty expensive. Not too happy about that. Uh, I told my friends uh, I was giving them weed cookies, but they were really just weird cookies. I was like, nobody's going to eat these unless they think there are drugs in them. Uh, I, uh, I recently moved to East Hampton, Massachusetts. Uh, it's really convenient because my boyfriend lives there. Uh, his name is Mount Tom. Uh, I like to hike. It's weird to me, though, when somebody says to take a hike because they want you to go away. Because uh, usually when I take a hike, I come back to where I started a couple hours later. Uh, not the best way to get me to go away. Um, 
I've been getting into running recently. I never thought I would really be a runner. I kind of hated running my whole life. Uh, but then I saw this movie and it kind of changed things for me. You may have heard of it. Uh, it's called Forrest Gump. Uh, from that movie I learned you can literally run from your problems and people will admire you for it. <laughs> I have roommates and uh, you know we have a good system for sharing food like we each have our own cupboard and then we have a community cupboard um, and basically if you buy food and you realize you don't like it you put it in the community cupboard uh, and then when you're broke and desperate or drunk in the more uh, late of the late in the evening <laughs> uh, you go to the community cupboard, uh, and I recently found cornflakes there, and I was really excited. Uh, but they weren't Kellogg's cornflakes; they were some like hippie Whole Foods brand of cornflakes. And so, as I pulled the box off the shelf, the first thing that caught my eye on the uh, on the side of the box it said, uh, "Does there really need to be so much salt in cereal?" And I was like immediately indignant. I was like, "Yeah, what the? F who's been loading my cereal up with salt all these years? I've definitely not been appreciating that." Uh, ready for my new low sodium cereal life. Uh, but then I poured myself a bowl and I started eating it and I found out, yes, uh, cereal does need to have that much salt in it. Actually, these are disgusting. Uh, and I'm eating it, and it's terrible, and I'm like, they told me what they messed up on the side of the box. Uh, is it too late to add the salt? <laughs> a little salty milk solved this problem. I was too scared to find out. I'm not the girliest girl, uh, but I do like to shop uh, mostly at Goodwill. I got these uh, pants that I'm wearing at Goodwill. Uh, when I was trying them on, I put my hand in the pocket, found $5. Pants literally paid for themselves, you guys. Uh, <laughs> doesn't happen at the mall, that's all I'm saying. Um, like I said, I'm not that girly of a girl. I'm pretty casual about shaving. 
Uh, and I had this guy ask me once, like, Laura, you know, I noticed, you know, you trim your bush, but not your armpits. What's up with that? And I'm like, uh, duh, not trying to get anyone to put their face in my armpit. Don't know what the point of that would be. Uh, being an all natural lady, though, I, I do like all natural guys too. you know, I'll be walking down the street, see a nice full beard, think, man, I would love to make that beard smell weird. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Keep it going for Laura, everyone. Guys, that is our show. Thank you so much for checking out. We'll be back next time at Public Access and Chill. Good night. Woohoo!